Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to talk about the basic concept of a circle. So what is a circle? Well, the circle has a center, a point, and then the line that forms a circle, every point on that line is equal distance away from that one point, and the distance from that center point to the edge where the circle is, that's called the radius. So that's how we define a circle. A circle is defined by a center point called the center, and a, a set of points that form a curved line around that center where every point on that line is the exact same distance away from that point and that distance is called the radius. A chord is a line segment that crosses or in this case a line segment doesn't cross but a line segment whose endpoints end on the circle. So let's say here we have an endpoint right there on that line segment. It's right on the circle. There we have another endpoint. So this line here represents a chord. Now, a chord can run from any one point on the circle to any other point on the circle. And in one case, the chord will run right through the center. Well, when the chord runs right through the center, that length of that chord is then called the diameter, which is exactly twice the distance, of course, of the radius. A secant line is a line that runs through the circle and crosses it at two points. Any time you have a line that crosses through the circle, it will cross it at two points with one exception. If the line is such that it just barely grazes the edge and only touches the circle at one point, then that line is called the tangent line. So here's an example of a secant line where it crosses the circle in two places. Here's an example of a tangent line where it intersects or just touches the circle at a single point. And finally, we have what we call concentric circles. Concentric circles are more than one circle all have one point in common which is the center point. So in this case we have three circles and in all cases all three circles have the center of the circle right at the same spot and that is therefore called a set of three concentric circles. That's the terminology for that. So here's some basic terminology for the circle. We'll have a few more videos on the circle because there's a lot more that we need to know about the circle. You'll see as you continue to look at the next videos.